So you've been asked to update your work photo, but none of the professional photographers you often turn to are free to help and you need it now. Not to worry, because I'm going to run you through how to take your own professional photos. Now, whether you're using a phone or a handycam, the first thing that is going to be useful to you is grabbing a tripod, especially if you're taking photos on your own. Now, the last thing you want is an amateur style selfie photo with your arms in the shot or the picture to be blurry because the camera moved just as the shot was taken. So make sure your settings are set to default with flash turned off and HDR, if you have it, turned on. Now double check that you're not actually taking any pictures with your filter enabled or you're not shooting in live or motion picture mode because once these are enabled, you can't actually disable them. You wanna have a nice clean image that you can edit later. Snap, snap, snap away. Make sure you take plenty of pictures. Now you can do this either in burst mode or using the timer if you're taking pictures by yourself. Just make sure you get plenty so you have lots of options to choose from. So step four is editing. This can seem like a daunting task for someone that hasn't edited before, but it's actually surprisingly easy. And you can do it with built-in software on your phone or your computer. Now just focus on two things when you're editing. And the first thing is color. Just making sure your colors are correct. And if you want it set to black and white, you do that and also composition. Just making sure that your frame is correct. Now, many headshots require it to be squared, but when you come to cropping your image, just don't crop around your face. Try and make sure you play around with the framing to make it a little bit more interesting. Now, they are the four steps that you need to work through when you're creating your headshots, but here are a few tips that you need to consider. Now, headshots are always taken from the chest up and angles will affect the look and the feel. Now, if you're shooting slightly down, it will make your eyes appear larger and your face more delicate. Now, you can emphasize strength and achievement by shooting slightly up. So don't stand in front of the camera as if you were taking a passport photo. You wanna generate a little bit more interest in your headshot by turning your body slightly away and then having your head and your eyes face the lens. See, it's easy as one, two, three. Now make sure you subscribe to our channel to see more videos from us. Happy snapping and I'll see you next time.